Have you ever wondered why your expressions of love sometimes seem to miss the mark in your relationship? Think of love as a language, a medium through which we express and experience affection. However, each of us speaks a different dialect of this language. Understanding not just your own but also your partner's love language can make all the difference in achieving a fulfilling relationship. It's like having a secret code to each other's hearts. Let's dive into the five love languages and see how they can transform your relationship. Imagine hearing the words I love you and feeling a wave of warmth and appreciation wash over you. Welcome to the world of words of affirmation, one of the five primary love languages. For individuals who resonate with this love language, verbal expressions of affection and appreciation aren't just nice to hear. They are essential. They thrive on hearing words that affirm their worth, validate their feelings, and express genuine love and appreciation. Let's dive a little deeper. Compliments are like gold to those who speak the language of words of affirmation. Hearing, you look stunning today, or I admire your strength, can brighten their entire day. They appreciate the time and thought you put into articulating these affirmations. It's not just about flattery. It's about recognizing their qualities and expressing your admiration sincerely. Words of encouragement also play a pivotal role. When challenges arise, a few well-chosen words of support can mean the world to them. Saying, I believe in you, or you've got this, provides them with a boost of confidence, reminding them that they are capable and valued. But it's not just about compliments and encouragement. Verbal expressions of love and appreciation are equally important. It's not enough to assume they know you love them, they need to hear it. From a simple, I love you, to a heartfelt, I appreciate everything you do, these expressions of love can make their heart sing. Remember, it's not about the grandeur of your words, but the sincerity behind them. Authenticity is key. Empty words or dishonest flattery will likely fall flat or even cause hurt. It's about showing that you see them, you value them, and you love them through your words. Now think about how you can incorporate more words of affirmation into your daily interactions. Maybe it's a compliment over breakfast, an encouraging text during a challenging workday, or a heartfelt expression of love before bedtime. If your partner's love language is words of affirmation, your sincere words can speak volumes to their heart. Let those words be the melody that fills their day with warmth and assurance of your love. For some, actions speak louder than words. Delving into the realm of acts of service, we find a love language that values deeds over declarations. Individuals who resonate with this love language find a deep sense of love and appreciation when their partners perform tasks that make their lives easier. It's in the small, everyday tasks, the gestures that say, I care about your comfort and well-being, where they find the most profound expressions of affection. Imagine coming home after a long day to find that your partner has taken care of the dishes, or perhaps they've taken time out of their day to fix that squeaky door you've been complaining about. It's not the act itself that matters, but rather the thoughtfulness and effort behind it. These acts of service are seen as a direct expression of love and care, a testament to the saying, love is a verb. Acts of service can encompass a broad spectrum of tasks. It could be as simple as making a cup of coffee in the morning or as involved as planning a surprise weekend getaway to relieve you from the stress of everyday life. It's all about easing the burdens of daily life, showing love by stepping in and taking on tasks that could otherwise add to the stress or discomfort of the loved one. In these acts, they see a tangible proof of love, a hands-on approach that shows commitment, understanding, and a willingness to make their loved one's life a bit easier. It's not about grand gestures or expensive gifts. It's about showing up when it counts, being a supportive partner in the ebb and flow of everyday life. So if you find your partner resonating with acts of service as their love language, remember that it's the little things that count, a helping hand when they're overwhelmed, a chore taken off their daily list, or a surprise act that brings a smile to their face. These are the actions that will speak volumes to them, the deeds that will echo louder than any words. If your partner appreciates acts of service, remember, the smallest actions can make the biggest impact. Sometimes a carefully chosen gift can convey more love than words or actions. This love language is all about receiving gifts, but it's not about materialism. Rather, it's about the thoughtfulness, effort, and love put into the present. It's about showing your partner that you know them, understand their likes and dislikes, 
and want to bring joy into their lives. Imagine gifting a book by their favorite author, one they've mentioned wanting to read but haven't gotten around to buying, or perhaps a handcrafted item made with love and patience that reflects their passion or hobby. These thoughtful gifts become tokens of your love, physical evidence of your affection that they can hold on to. It's important to remember that the value of the gift isn't in its price tag, but in the time and consideration you put into selecting it. If your partner's love language is receiving gifts, your thoughtful gestures can make them feel truly cherished. What could be more precious than the gift of your undivided attention? Let's weave our way through the essence of the love language known as quality time. For those who speak this language, love is spelled T-I-M-E. It's about creating special moments, sharing experiences, and simply being there for one another. When we talk about quality time, it's not just about being in the same space with someone, it's about being emotionally present and engaged. It's about turning off the television, putting down the phone, and focusing all your attention on your loved one. It's about active listening, making eye contact, and showing genuine interest in what they're saying. Consider a couple who share a quiet evening at home. They're not just sitting together watching a movie, they're discussing the plot, sharing their thoughts, laughing at the same jokes. They're creating a shared experience that strengthens their bond. They're in their own world, and for that moment, nothing else matters. Or picture two friends going for a walk in the park. They're not just strolling side by side, they're sharing stories, discussing their dreams, and supporting each other's goals. They're not just spending time together, they're investing in their friendship. Quality time is also about creating memories that will last a lifetime. It could be as simple as cooking together on a Sunday afternoon or as grand as going on a dream vacation. It's about seeking out opportunities to create meaningful experiences and shared stories. But remember, it's not about the quantity of time spent together. It's about the quality. A few moments of undivided attention can be more valuable than hours spent together in distracted silence. It's about being fully present and making every moment count. So if you find yourself with someone whose love language is quality time, remember that your attention is the most valuable gift you can give. Listen to them, engage with them, and create memorable moments together. Show them that they are your priority, not an option. If quality time is your partner's love language, giving them your undivided attention can make them feel truly loved. For some, nothing says I love you quite like a warm hug or a gentle touch. Welcome to the world of physical touch as a love language. In this realm, love isn't just spoken or shown, it's felt, literally. Individuals who identify with physical touch as their primary love language are deeply moved by the physical expression of love. Actions speak louder than words, and for them, those actions are often hugs, kisses, and tender touches. Imagine the comfort of a warm embrace after a long day, the joy of a playful nudge, or the reassurance of a hand held during a difficult conversation. These gestures, while seemingly simple, can communicate a depth of love and affection that words might fail to express. Physical intimacy, too, plays a crucial role. Cozy cuddles, playful tickles, or simply resting a hand on a loved one's shoulder can mean the world to them. If physical touch is your partner's love language, your touch can communicate your love more powerfully than words. So why do love languages matter in a relationship, you may ask? Well, it's like learning a foreign language. The more proficient you become, the more you can immerse yourself in the culture, and the richer your experience will be. Understanding and catering to each other's love languages is like unlocking the door to a secret garden of your partner's heart. It's about speaking their dialect of love. And in doing so, you create a bridge of understanding that can lead to improved communication. When you speak your partner's love language, you're saying, I understand you and I value what makes you feel loved. This understanding fosters an enhanced connection, deepening the emotional bond between you. It's like you've tuned into a special frequency that resonates with your partner's heart. And during those inevitable conflicts, knowing each other's love languages can act as a compass guiding you back to common ground. It can help prevent unintentional hurt and pave the way for reconciling differences. Moreover, this journey of understanding love languages encourages personal growth. As you become more aware of your own needs and preferences, as well as those of your partner, 
you evolve into a more empathetic and compassionate individual. Finally, the beauty of love languages lies in their power to contribute to long-term relationship satisfaction. By creating a supportive and loving environment, you're not merely existing together, but thriving together. Understanding love languages isn't just about improving your relationship, it's about creating a deeper, more meaningful connection with the one you love.